pretty much everyone who has done something very, very important in C++ is, is here at least every other year or so. Directly interfacing with those people is just an incredible boon to your career, especially early in your career. Getting to pick people's brains on things, um, just hanging out, talking with people, you can't put a price on that. And you don't get those online. No matter how fancy the title looks, it's just about going from chapel to C++. Uh, why, you might ask? The first reason is always just because we can. The second is, well, you might have something uh, you, you want to use with C++, and uh, your old code is in chapel. You can use this. So who better than Brad Chamberlain himself to introduce chapel? Uh, please visit this talk. But I'm not going to leave you hanging there. Chapel is essentially a parallel programming and scalable language with single program multiple data style loops. It also has distributed data style uh, uh, types called domains. And we are using HPX. HPX is a parallelism and concurrency library, and its introduction is given in CPBCon 2022. So to give you an overview, it basically models the uh, ISO C++ standards, and it's very easy to use for the most basic functionality. You have to replace it with HPX. And it has futures and continuations, so it builds on the DAGs, and uh, it's uh, sort of efficient. Uh, it, has, it also has single program multiple data style loops. And so let's look at the difference between Chapel and HPX. So in Chapel, we have distributed arrays, whereas in HPX, we have partition vectors. Uh, we have global namespace here. We have active global address space here, task parallelism, task scheduling in ACAS, data parallelism. Uh, here, we prefer to move work rather than data. So it's not really that different. So why not just bridge the gap between Chapel and HPX? So we developed a source-to-source -source translator uh, using the existing framework from Chapel's front end. And uh, we uh, transform Chapel's micro AST. Uh, so we do this in three passes. We first construct the symbol table scoping for, uh, for the C++. Uh, we generate the program tree uh, and C++ core gen. In the block diagram, you can see on the right that there's a ChapelX library, uh, which basically maps most of the ChapelX uh, uh, Chapel's uh, constraints and data types. And our compiler sort of looks like this. When you pass it a Chapel function, it will generate the corresponding C++ module. Uh, with all the CBank list and the driver code. And the current performance results we have so far look like this. So as you can see, uh, ChapelX performs much better than Chapel uh, when Chapel is compiled with dash O, which is, the, uh, which is the optimization for the generated C code. However, it performs not that good when compared with the Chapel's fast flag, which uh, enables uh, many other optimizations, uh, some of the unsafe optimizations and stuff like that. But however, the conclusion we have here today is that if we were to match Chapel's optimization flags, we have some hope. And this is a six month engineering effort, so I guess that, that was good enough performance for now. Uh, we have integrated Apex, which has uh, much better performance counters than the Chapel, so there goes your debugging and profiling. And today, the code that we have works well enough to compile the chapels, uh, stream, triad, heat, and benchmarks like such. Thank you. That's all.